Abner, you should see what the neighbors are doing. pick this up off of the curb. So we're gonna sand it. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it again. And then we're gonna add some decals. Now we're gonna sand it. So after I sand it, I'll wipe it down with a little microfiber dust cloth. Here's the before, and here's the, oh, the after. Nice. Now we're going to paint it. I'm going to start with some white Waverly chalk paint. It looks a little gray in this lighting, but it is white. And also, I'm new with this video crafting at the same time. It's hard to do that with one hand. Let's focus on what you're doing. I'm going to work on this. Get her figured out. Give me a minute. I'll get it figured out. Or I'll just put the camera down and look at that. It's all done. But wait. So baby sister had this leftover paint from her wall. It was blue pencil. And she painted her little side bedside table. It looks so cute. Ah, oh, little jealous. I was hoping she wasn't gonna take it with her. Still some paint left in there, so can't waste that. So I'll give you a little stir and guess what we're gonna do with it. So here we go, we're we'll gonna put that blue on top of the white. Yes, that I just painted white. I, I can change my mind. We ain't done yet. 
I ordered these Pioneer Woman Breezy Blossoms Peel and Stick Wall Decals. Hopefully this works. I've never done this before, y'all. I'm just making this up by the seat of my pants, if you will. So I'm going to hold it and peel at the same time. That's the plan. I'm going to hold it and peel it and press the center right down as I peel the backing off at the same time. Then I'm going to slide with my finger. I'm going to slide any air bubbles out as I press it down. And of course, you know, first time applying on furniture with a wall decal, I decide to do some kind of curvy, tiny little leg as the piece instead of some large flat piece, which might have been easier to practice on. Anywho, we're doing it. It's, it's turning out good. We're doing this. Pressing it down, working out the air bubbles. See, found me an air bubble, so I'm just going, because it's reusable, I'm just going to peel off this little corner and press that little bubble up. There you go. Boring tool from stamping up and it is just a very dull piece of plastic it looks like a knife that would just shred but it doesn't it's very dull you could use a gift card or you could use anything that's very dull I didn't want to keep using my fingers because you know my pressing it kind of working it in the grooves a little bit don't use anything sharp obviously don't want to cut it to pieces. Unless that's the look you're going for. I, I wasn't going for that look this time. Notice I say this time, maybe next time. You know. Yeah, so I'm just pressing very gently with it, just pressing it to the back. I look for my brayer, brayer tool. That would have worked wonderfully couldn't find it so I showed you how to do one piece now I'm just going to do a whole like here we go Sometimes when I'm working with the Cricut or something similar you may have, it doesn't quite cut all the way. Same true with these decals I found. There were little areas that just didn't quite get cut all the way. Here's a case in point. 
let's see how I handled it. I'm just going to get my little scissors. I'm going to cut it away and then I'm going to trim fake it and make it look like that was the way it was supposed to be on a home. in with my scissors and I'm going to trim it like it was meant to be like that all along. Just like that. Very carefully. Here I'm taking the tip of that again. It's a very dull tool. It's dull. It's meant to score paper, not cut paper. Uh, I'm using it, using it to pull down where the leg and the rung connect and the wall decal goes. I'm pressing it around. Make sure it's adhered well. Doesn't it look pretty? Oh, it's so A thumbs up if you think this trash to treasure video was one cool stool. Hey, I love you. Bye bye.